Hello, I'm recording this video to show you the process of installing Windows on this Huawei laptop. So one thing you must have, you must have a flash which has made a, into a bootable format and uh, this one being a new laptop it only uses UEFI. So with UEFI you have to make your bootable flash in, in GPT format. You can use Rufus, you can use uh, Power ISO. So the process of making a bootable drive is very common on the internet. And uh, basically, this is how you do. You choose the flash drive here. You choose the Windows, uh, the one you want to install. Then you click Start. So I've already made mine. So what you have to do, you have to shut down the laptop and then you plug in this flash then you click onto the power button and as it turns on, you have to click 12 F12 continuously until it takes you into the boot mode so here in the boot mode, you can see we have Windows Boot Manager then you have this USB disk USB device, which is the SanDisk and SanDisk is my flash which is installed inside. So this is the BIOS design of this laptop and you can see it's almost interactive. You can use the mouse, it shows you the temperature, it shows you the new advanced type of BIOS interface. So when you select the flash drive, you have to press enter. And now the laptop is going to restart and try to read and copy the files from the flash. Now at this point I can't use the touchpad, I have to use the keyboard. I will use the tab key to move the selection to next. Then I press enter, then I press install. So here I will still press tab and choose I don't have product key, then enter. I'll choose Windows 10 Home, press Tab, then Enter. Then here I'll choose Accept Terms and License. The shortcut here is Space to highlight that, that tab. Press Tab, then go to Enter. I'll use custom then press enter now here this driver has many partitions so it seems the partition which seems to have more storage which is partition 3 is the one where I have to install the windows however down here it shows windows can't be installed on this drive partition 3 so when I go to the next one, it still does the same thing. Now at this point, what we have to do, we have to go and format this hard drive. Now to format this hard drive, I'll go into repair your computer, then enter, go into troubleshoot, then enter, go into pro command prompt, then enter, here it's, it's asking me to choose the keyboard layout. I'll just go to skip, then enter. So here it's saying enter your recovery key, load your recovery key from USB. Then I'll just go to skip, then enter. So here in the command terminal, I'm going to type disk part. Then enter, then say list disk. Then enter. So it has a one terabyte, 
which is disk 0 and it has size is 953 GB so I'll say select disk 0 then enter then I'll click clean now clean formats the hard drive into the format that the computer understands Usually if you have a different type of UFI windows can actually just go direct without needing this this method. So I'll say clean, then enter. So it has succeeded in cleaning the disk. Then I'll click exit. And enter, then exit again. Then enter then I'll go to turn off so I'll have then to turn it on again press F12 so right now it only shows my flash drive because the windows on that drive has been all wiped out so then I'll press enter So I'll still go into tabs and go up to next, then enter, then install, enter. Then I'll still choose, I don't have product key, then enter. I'll choose Windows 10 Home. Then next, then enter. I'll still click space. Next, enter. Then I'll go to custom, enter. So you can see right now, it does not give you other options. It does not write the other error. It automatically gives you a next option. So I'll go to tab. Highlight next and then enter. So right now it started. You have started copying the Windows files, getting files ready for installation. Because this computer has got an SSD, it should be faster. And I believe in a few minutes it will be already completing this process. So let's wait for it. So it is at 95. Now restarting. So it has completed. But now what you have to see, right now the touchpad is not working. So in this process we need more drivers to enable the touchpad to work. So I'll still use the tab. And then I'll say continue with the limited setup. Now this computer belongs to Chris. Enter. I'll not choose password at the moment. So here I will say not now.
so it has finalized let's see if the touchpad works so touchpad it doesn't work it looks like the sound drivers are also off so now i'm going to use offline drivers 